So, right now, we have a really interesting situation. We have just some interesting quotes up here about how, um, how content has evolved and how, where it is right now. So we have two major issues right now. We have viral content, which a lot of people don't see directly correlating to their business objectives. You know, there's a lot of quizzes and lists out there, um, which may get a lot of click-throughs. It may drive a lot of people to your site, but does it ultimately convert? Does it actually bring in the people that you want it to bring in? And on the other hand, you have ad blockers right now. So if you don't like that organic approach, a lot of people will go with AdSense. They'll put up, you know, they'll put um, out ads out on a cost per click basis through Google. But the reality is ad blockers are becoming more and more prevalent and uh, 75 to 85% of ads are, getting, are potentially being blocked at the moment. So you have this balance of do I go organic content or do I go paid content? Now, paid content, um, paid content is, it's great. It'll work in the short run, but will it actually result in long-term growth? Most likely not. Ultimately, when you pay to put content on other people's sites, it's not boosting your own site. It's not bringing in people over a long period of time. Whereas organic content, when you build content on your site, you build authority to that content. Uh, so over time, it'll gain social signals, it'll gain links to the content, which ultimately are going to help your rankings in Google and bring more people on your site. So native content, simple terms, is really just creating content that is in an ad without the other people without the actual end user seeing it as an ad. This gives it that virality factor. It allows it to actually become a piece that you know people want to share. I don't know about you. I, I hate landing on a web page where it's just a straight sales page. There's no value. There's no information other than hey, click this button to buy. So I think educating the end user through your site and ultimately developing that, that funnel from an educational standpoint and then developing them into that buyer. So, uh, let's see here. We have really interesting quote. So BuzzFeed, uh, kind of the king of, uh, of viral content at the moment, they're getting something around uh, 500 million page views a month, which is an absolutely insane number. And that's why they're, that's why they're killing it right now. But I don't know if any of you noticed, but they recently started doing uh, video content on their site. So they've created a, a series of shows, and this is something that we're looking to start creating as well, where you'll actually um, create a studio where you're uh, developing different TV shows and creating na creating native advertising opportunities within that, that content that you're creating. It's content that people want to share, and it's content that people expect to see some level of advertising, but not enough to the point where, uh, you know, where they're turned off. And it doesn't look like a direct selling opportunity. Uh, so this is just some interesting stat, 500, or um, 500,000 potential customers, 250,000 shares, it's a big win, right? Whereas 100 million potential customers and 250,000 shares, you're not doing well. You're not getting your content promoted the way it needs to be promoted. 